So, is everything okay? Yeah. Not really. I'm on probation and he'll probably take over the case. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. It's okay. Been there, done that, and bought the t-shirt. What's this big lead you were telling me about? I did what you asked. I correlated the info on victims 4 and 5. I got something, but it may be nothing. Try me. You've said that the last two victims probably knew our perp because he covered their face. Well, I got a name that's common to both victims. A Vaklav Kolar. Also, I tried linking this guy to victims 1, 2, and 3, but no go. Hey, so what happened downstairs? We think the killer broke into the morgue and left us a picture of the next victim. You're kidding, right? I kid you not. A bold SOB, I'll give him that. You should go down and take a look at the picture. Claire needs to do a few tests on it and send it off to the labs. Do you think it's safe to go down there? Sure it is. Okay, I'll go have a look. How did you get the name Vaklav Kolar? I read Claire's report on the fifth victim. In it, she added a picture that was found in the victim's purse. On the picture, there was the victim, a girl, and a guy. The guy reminded me of someone. He's actually one of the people I interviewed for the fourth murder. He was her tutor at the university. I went back to read my own report, and it's the same guy. I'm sure of it. Any relationship between the fourth and fifth victims? As far as I can tell, they didn't know each other, but they had this guy in common. Maybe he deserves a second interview? Definitely. I'll go alone. He's seen you before, so it might make things go smoother, make him less nervous. Okay? And I'll give Kolar a visit. I sent the address to your 4x4's Navcom. If I have the chance, I'll go interview the latest victim's friends. Maybe I can talk to the other girl on the photo. Good idea. Okay. That whole probation thing? Uh, are we... Let me go check out in the morgue first. I do gotta say, I've been pretty happy with the puzzle so far, though. Except for the one, it's, uh, it's been pretty good. Anything else from you? Hey? I don't have anything for you now. Come back later. Okay. I just wanted to look at her tits again. <laughs> no, no. It's found that so funny. It's sex and video games. And I've already had that talk all through Witcher 2. I just, I, I just don't understand it. You know, we we really worried about 13-year-olds wanking off to video games when all they need is Google. And Hell, I'm sure you could even type in boobs not censored by Barracuda or one of the other adult, you know, uh, filter thingers. And I, I'm sure you'd still get a, a whole mess of images. Yeah, she does have a tank in that thing. Who needs a... I mean, I know of a sunroof, but God, a little overkill. All right, give me my mouse. There we are. All right, fifth murder scene, Pat's house. Let's go to the campus. Hi. Get some direction? Maybe not. Ignore us. Don't stop reading, please. Fire hose. Who is it? Agent McPherson, FBI. I have a few questions I'd like to ask you, if you have the time. I have time for the pretty agent. May I come in? Sure. Okay, I'm coming into the door now. Jeez, sorry I asked. What? Oh, nothing, just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. Did you know a Natalie Kenworth? Yes, I did. 
So I imagine you also know that she was murdered about a month ago. Yes, and I already talked to a police officer about her. Yeah, I know, but I would appreciate if you could remind me. How did you know her? Friend? Just a classmate? Were you intimate? I was her tutor. She was studying in criminology, and I was helping her with some of her classes. She came here often. A student in criminology, huh? Did you ever get Professor Pratt? No, but I know him. I've had several conversations about weird, unsolved cases. Does he still have bad B.O.? B.O.? Body odor. In other words, he stinks. <laughs> yes, he still does. She's trying to be not a little friendly and, you know... Do you know Cynthia Woods? Cynthia Woods? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Maybe a photo would help. Oh, yes, I have seen her before. She's my neighbor's friend. I saw her at a party. That picture was taken there. So you're not close to Cynthia? No, she's more my neighbor's friend. I think I saw her twice in all, at the party and once in the hallway. Uh, why? She was found brutally murdered in an abandoned apartment building. Y you don't think that... Hey, I'm always in here working on my thesis. I never go out. I, I went to Mia's party because she invited me. I think she invited me so I wouldn't complain about the noise. Mia's the other girl in the picture? Yes, she's my neighbor. Your thesis, what's the subject? I'm doing it on a serial murder case called the Perlovka Ripper. It happened in the late 20s. Well, you don't say. Are you familiar with the case? You could say that, yes. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Sure, I'll even print you up a copy. Okay, can I have the copy now? Sure, I'll be right back. Now's my chance. I should swipe something to get prints. Because this is, you know... Too risky to take that. Uh, I don't know if I'm being timed here. Pretty sure none of this will be usable in court, you know, because you're... This will do nicely. Here you are. Thanks a lot. I'll be sure to read it. I'd really appreciate your input if you ever have the time. Will do. You're not planning on leaving the country. No. Fine. Thanks for your cooperation and I'll keep in touch. Alright folks, I'm going to cut. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, folks.